I know, finally, a black guy. Thank you. <laughs> we are here! Not just an average black guy, but a very important black guy. A black guy that's from the hood. From South Central LA. Anybody ever been to South Central? Me and three Mexicans. Okay, cool. I love being from South Central LA. I live in a part where the mailman doesn't deliver the mail. He just throws it in the middle of the field. Y'all sort that stuff out. You know your neighborhood is ghetto when you can watch cops live from your front porch? Is this live? Gangbangers try to run in your house? Not in here, partner. Not in here, dog. I'm gonna say this too. If you're gonna be in a gang, your gang name should fit your face. You should have a name that fits your face. You can't have a name like Killer and you look like Prince. What kind of stuff is that? That would be confusing to other gang members. When I grew up, all the gang members' names fit their face. Like we had a homeboy by the name of Uno. That's right, we called him Uno because he had one eye. Don't ever do a drive-by with a brother with one eye. They mess around and kill everybody in the car. This dude will leave with four of my friends and come back by himself. I don't know what happened to the rest of them brothers. So you done killed them, you cockeyed. I'm sick of all these rappers. They're driving me crazy. All of them trying to think that they're tough. Gangsters, killers, you ain't no gangster. Ja Rule is not a gangster. For the people that don't know who Ja Rule is, this is the shortest dude in rap. Ja Rule's so short, you can see his whole body on his driver's license. Say, nigga, that is short, dog. You gotta pick him up to do a drive-by. <laughs> Bank horse! And he cries on every song. What would I do without you? 50 Cent, they'll keep messing with me. Stop crying. I like Jay-Z, but Jay-Z got some big old lips. And in Spanish for you, some grande libios. His lips is so big, he can roll a blunt with no hand. <laughs> jigga what, jigga them lips. You know your lips is big when you can kiss yourself on the neck. Just sick of it. Cannot be gangsters. And we got two of the ugliest gangsters. These rappers right here are just driving me crazy. Anybody have heard of the Ying Yang Twins? You ever heard of these, ma'am? The Ying Yang Twins. Two identical ugly ass rappers. How do you come up with two identical ugly rappers? They could have been each other for Halloween. Just switch hats. There you go, dog. Grew up around nothing but Mexican people, and I love y'all. And I want to say this, y'all just as ghetto as black people tell the truth. Because we the only ones know about food stamps. White folks, y'all don't know about food stamps. Y'all see a food stamp land on the ground, y'all be like, oh my God, Monopoly money. <laughs> you let us see a food stamp. Is that a food stamp, dog? We'll turn into James Bond. Now see, some Mexican people are not laughing, and y'all know, y'all know about food stamps. You know how I know? The, the Paleta man take food stamps too. Ma'am, the Paleta man is a little Mexican dude in the ice cream in the neighborhood, with a little miniature ice cream box. <laughs> bling, 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 I bought a Chuco taco from this man. You know what a Chuco taco is? This is a chocolate covered ice cream shaped like a taco. I was like, I gotta try this shit right here. And I went to put it in my pocket and come out with a food stamp, right? Went to put it back in my pocket and the Paleta man like, <laughs> I was like, pull out the man, take food stamps now? He's like, see, it's real Danettos. I'm like, all right, cool. You know who got more game than the Paletta man? The Paletta lady. This is his wife. She knows how to make some money. The Paletta lady got more game than the Paletta man because she comes to your house at five o'clock in the morning, wake you up, tamales, champurados. Como dice, did I say that right? Como dice? <laughs> You'd be like, okay, Paletta lady, let me get two. <laughs> Go up the block and wake them other people up. <laughs> you can set your clock by the Paletta lady. She's gonna be here five, four, there she is. The rooster be mad at the Paletta lady. Here she come again! <laughs> Relax, Mexican people. I can talk about y'all because I grew up with y'all. I did, man, my best friend is Mexican. And somebody told me that all Mexican people carry knives. I like to say that is some bull crap. My homeboy Pepe has been carrying a screwdriver for 15 years. <laughs> and the only way you can talk about Mexican people is if you're in. That's when, there's only two ways in. 
right? You either have to be married or baptize somebody in one of their families, right? And I baptized. I'm a godfather. They call me compadre. Compadre is godfather to his child. You baptize in my Latino family, the first thing you have to do, you have to go to a Catholic church. Never been in a Catholic church before, dog. I got in there, I started seeing all that gold. I was like, mm hmm. Some of this stuff is coming with me, mm hmm. And we did this like 8,000 times, right? I thought we was doing a wave. I was like, <laughs> but that wasn't the fun part. To me, the fun part was the after party. See, the Mexican people tell you, they say, look, let's hold after the after party, you know, the compadre, he has to arrive last. As soon as I stepped in the after party, I swear to God, I heard somebody go, <laughs> Okay, white folks, in English, that means hee-haw. <laughs> I stepped in the party, 10,000 Mexicans, and I was the only brother. I was like, what the hell is going on? That's when I put my hand on my knife. I was like, what was that, dog? Tell me what was that. This means somebody just opened up a bottle of El Presidente. <laughs> you ever drink this drink? This is a Mexican cognac that will get your conscience drunk. You ever had your conscience drunk, dog? You ever had your conscience speak to you drunk? Be like, sit down. You're like, okay. <laughs> I think I just broke the microphone. I hope that ain't gonna cost me. Great, the black guy get up here and the microphone get broke. <laughs> Remind me one time when I went over to my white friend's house in Texas and two of their bikes came up missing and they looked at me. <laughs> I'm like, it's just one person. How the fuck can I steal two bikes? <laughs> I'm gonna set that over there. Real quick, I need some help, real quick, real quick, I need some help. I need like one female volunteer to come to the stage and help me with my last joke. One, one, come on, he's, he's volunteering. Get her, get her, she's fun. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. This isn't comedy going wild. You won't have to show your breasts. You're all right, come on. All right, bro, and I need you to do me one favor to hold the mic for me. Hold the mic for me. You gotta come on stage, okay. All right, real quick, real quick, real quick. This game is what we call hands-on. I don't know if anybody ever seen this, but some things that I do is called hands-on, it's real funny. What you do is you improv to my suggestions with your hands, okay? All right, so what you do is real quick, hands like that. And I need to see the white. Okay, real quick, you're gonna move your hands to my suggestions. For instance, I'm gonna say hello to the crowd. Hey, how y'all doing over there? Hi, wave. That's gay, I need a little more thug. Hey, what's happening, dog? A little more black, hey, what's happening, dog? Black people talking to him, what's happening, dog? Yeah, yeah. More like, hey, hey, dog, what's happening? Yeah, Bubba. Real quick, hey, dog, what's happening, Blip? She's more like, hey. Come on, hey, dog, what's happening, Blip? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Like I'm saying, dog, I was on my way to the store the other day, right? And them niggas, they were looking at me, I was like, what's up, dog? What, what, Blip? What? Okay, let's say, let's put ourselves in a hypothetical situation. Hypothetical means, you know, pretend, brothers. Brothers, pretend. <laughs> You can't say the wrong word to a cholo or a brother. They don't know what hypotheticals. Who the hell is that and where the hell are they from? Okay. Let's say we're in South Central. It's late at night. Four thugs is looking at us. We're looking at them. We're like, what's up? We're like, what's up? Oh, y'all want some of me? Oh, do y'all want? You got to look tough. We're going to get our ass whipped. Come on. You got to be like, y'all want some of me? What's up? Y'all want some of me? What? Go ahead. What? Y'all want some of me? What? 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 Y'all want some of me? All right. Do y'all want some of me? 